Myths of Malocus is brought to you by BattleBards, premier tabletop audio and tools for your role-playing game campaign. Liven up your gaming sessions with a wide variety of music, ambient tracks, and sound effects for any situation. With multiple tiers to choose from, you can find the audio package that's right for you at BattleBards.com. Use coupon code RFC1 and receive one free track when purchasing the $10 or $25 level packages. Use coupon code RFC2 to receive five free tracks when purchasing the $50 or $100 levels. Or use coupon code RFC3 to receive 10 free tracks at the $150 or $300 levels. Save some money and add some extra excitement to your role-playing game at BattleBards.com. A legendary lost city. Peril, surprise, and adventure. Five unlikely heroes find themselves working together. Sango Duskrin, a half-drow rogue with a mysterious dark past. Orion Praxius, a dragonborn ranger on a mission from his homeland. Varus Starfall, a high elf wizard forced to flee his city under siege. Lord Featherbottom II, a half-orc fighter of noble blood. And Mulgrew, a Tauran cleric on a mission of peace from a faraway land. Join them now as they attempt to uncover the myths of Malocus. Last time, our heroes met up, exchanged awkward greetings, and got knocked out by a thick, poisonous smog. Their lives were saved by a mysterious old woman, a resident of their sought-after city, Malocus, which they now intend to explore. You're gonna have minus two to perception rolls with these masks on, they obscure your vision. Okay. Is this gonna be like, um, so you know. uh, Metro, when we have to take off our mask and wipe them? Yeah, yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Is it possible to take the mask off while holding a breath to perceive things? Wait. Uh, yes, Actually, but it's risky. How much does this mask cover our face? Like, just the, like, whole, like this. Because uh, my lightning breath comes out of my mouth. It's, it's <laughs> like your head. It goes so could I head. theoretically take off the mask, shoot lightning, and put it back on? Or is that going to be something I should... Uh, you could. You probably would have disadvantage or something. Okay. Well. I mean, it's not a perfect... <laughs> Great. Now, of course, I'm throwing it everywhere. I can't use my breath weapon. <laughs> now, because we, uh, we, we breathe in all this... Fumes and whatnot. Do we? Are we? We're not poisoned at all. No, you're, you're okay. You, you rested over the night. Okay. Uh, how do we get to the said two buildings we talked about earlier? We had to head north. I Go think. right outside. You'll find a rope. It'll well, I mean, is there a way to know which rope, or do we just automatically know? I grab It'll hold. Pretty of... much lead you there. Okay. <laughs> you're smart folks. I think you can figure it out. I recommend we go to the tavern first. <laughs> Follow the rope. Both of them will have information. I do not see why we choose one of the other. So right. shall it's, we go? It's definitely the next morning. We should probably tie one on early. <laughs> <laughs> As the phrase goes, it is sun setting somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. That classic phrase. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's uh, let's put on our masks, grab our ropes, and walk out the door. Wow. Feather bottom. I am your father. Sucks. King? That is, that is weird. You call your father king? <laughs> it's a very strict. weird household. <laughs> right. So we're heading to the tavern. All right. Rope. You, you head up to the north. It's kind of a... Looks like kind of a town square from what you can make out through the, through the Like mist. town like as in like cottage town or like big city like What is the city, right? I mean, it's... Well, it depends it's what's big, left. But there aren't... Uh, most of the buildings you can see are kind of in disrepair. So more Fallout-ish, like post apocalyptic sure. kind of. <laughs> I'm trying to gauge, like, is it more like ancient ruined city? I wouldn't... Not, it's like not like stone Egyptian buildings, ruins like... or anything like that, but it's, you know, stuff yeah. doesn't look in the best condition. Huh? All right. Uh, we Other knock on the tap. Is buildings. the door open, or do we have to knock? The door is open. You can go right in. You know, I'm very impressed that this smog doesn't go into the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> they... Uh, insulation. <laughs> very good ventilation in this town. <laughs> they adapt, you know? It's, that's what happens. There is a sign above the... Uh, Ooh, the tablet. I will... Oh, what does the sign say? What language is in it? It's in common. Oh, okay. I'm sure you'll mention to us if it's something other than common. <laughs> it's in abyssal. <laughs> <laughs> Your time to shine. I can... I, can I cast that. dancing lights. <laughs> I speak abyssal. <laughs> the sign says Scummy's Bar and Grill. I, I like the name! I turn back. <laughs> I, I thought like we it. were going to Town Hall. No, we're, we're doing that after they the town. Oh, we're the okay. tavern first, because okay. really, as far as we know, there's we're looking for information. Both should provide it. 
Hopefully so there'll really, be some townsfolk sitting at the bar. Get some information. And also, it'd be very likely that if there is any buying, or anyone knows buying, we're going to hear more about it in the tavern. Mm -hmm. Which, I have a feeling we may want to know that kind of stuff. Especially yeah. for someone who needs arrows. Just saying. Or more gas mask parts. Alright, so let's, uh, we're inside of the tavern. You so enter the tavern. It's kind of a little hole-in-the-wall looking place. Well, those are the best. There are a few tables and less chairs. Mm. A bar with some stools. Wait, they have less chairs and tables? That seems highly inefficient. No, 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 you see, that's because he, there's confusion. The other tables are actually stools for Torrens and Dragonborn. Oh, okay. Oh. I should correct myself. I should have said a few tables and fewer chairs. You did. It's a grammatical error. <clears throat> You know, I gotta set an example for you guys. <laughs> uh, it looks like there's a small stage in the back corner for open mic nights, mm. things like that. Uh, as well as some stairs leading to a loft. Shame, we don't have a bard with us. <laughs> that, that's true. Um, there's, you know, near the bar, looks like the, the place is pretty run down. There's, you don't see anybody in here. There's dirt. Not even a bartender? Over the place. Nobody behind the counter. There's a big boulder uh, sitting next to the bar. And looks like there might be some stuff behind the boulder. Okay. It's not just a rock; it's a boulder. <laughs> Does the boulder Do serve any purpose? Upstairs or downstairs? Or I, I, I shout! I shout out! Oh, hello! <laughs> well, let's one at a time here. <laughs> Who wants to go? Do we like hear anyone walking? Like, you, if there's an upstairs or downstairs, you can't hear any movement. I shout out! Hello! No response. <laughs> I. I sit at the bar and knock, seeing if that somehow magically conjures up the bartender, which seems to always do. Bartenders love being mysterious. When I met, uh, Sengo, <laughs> my friend, <laughs> Sengo, at the, the, the barkeeper wasn't there, and then when we just sat there, he just sort of popped up and was like, hello. It was quite odd. Yes, he was quite terrifying. <laughs> I... I think I'm going to look through the book of karaoke hits, and I'm going to use the backstage. Ooh, do they have the 80s? <laughs> the 1780s? Right. What are you, you going to say? No, 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 literally 80s. <laughs> oh, I'm going to sing Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. Do you mean Rick on Ast Lore's <laughs> Never Shall I Good Forsake Lord. You? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Sounds it. like a terrible song. <laughs> I can't even sing half those. The words. famous dwarven <laughs> song, yes. All right, make roll. a performance check. <laughs> is that a thing? Yes, it, yes, is. it is. Oh my god! <laughs> Please do it. Uh, okay, I. I take a seat at one of the tables and enjoy the performance. Thirteen with no bonus. Well, you what have is your bonus? Charisma? Yes. Yeah, I have a plus zero. All right. Your song is adequate. <laughs> It's, it's not the worst thing anyone's ever heard. My ears are bleeding! <laughs> you know, considering how gross and dreary the place is, it sort of it sort of brightened things and things up a little bit. I slightly grin. And now I make the suggestion <laughs> that... Well, you're not Armus anymore. No, I am... O Orion, Orion goes behind the bar and fixes up a couple of drinks. Yes, is there any um, booze or spirits or... It looks like there might well, be. Um, I'm doing... Okay, you know what? I'm doing a perception check. I'm like... Or, yeah, to try to see if there's literally anyone, or even behind the counter or anything. What is your or, perception? Or the boulder. I'm finding out what that boulder is, and okay. that's a, that's a living boulder. 20. You're pretty sure that boulder moved a little bit. <laughs> uh, I walk over to the boulder and knock at it and go, hello? <laughs> uh, I would like to ready my dagger. <laughs> yes, that is the correct word. I would like to ready my... Longbow. I like how everyone goes to combat and I just go over. Hey, buddy! <laughs> oh, you are knocking on the man's face. I'm assuming it's I'm, I'm having Watch the a, ass! I'm having a wine while they all get ready for combat. Are you drinking anything or are you just complaining? No, the wine. He's You're drinking wine. Oh. Was what, there anything what did you think he was doing to the wine? Was there anything behind the boulder? Uh, no, nothing behind the boulder, but when you, when you rat knock on it, uh, it stands up. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it, it, it is in fact a short, stumpy looking boulder creature. I leave. With a face. In fact, it I didn't knock on his face, did I? Much, looks much like this right here. <laughs> this oh, so <laughs> great stats again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it gets up and I it kind you're of. supposed to be eidetic. <laughs> it's, it has kind of an inscrutable expression. It's not very, it's not very expressive. You, you're not really sure what it's thinking, but Stone it doesn't. Stone faced, you would say? I would. Uh... I sheath my short sword. Uh, 
Party gets an inspiration for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> so do you want to talk well, with that? I'm waiting to hit. He, st he stands up and he and he and he looks at all of you and he he kind of he kind of like. Uh, uh, Dude, are you the barkeep? I am the barkeep. Excellent. <laughs> well, I believe uh, we are all dying of a drink here. Yes, I would like. 15 gold pieces, which is all I have. Uh, <laughs> worth of one. Alright, he, uh, he, he goes behind the counter slowly. I, I rest my hand on Mulgrew's shoulder and ask him, my friend, is this a wise decision to make? I don't think you can reach his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I am 8 foot, 10 inches tall. <laughs> you may have placed your hand on his butt. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, you gonna react to that or you don't care? No, no, it's totally wise. Okay. He goes behind, he's like, uh, we have some of this. And he pours some, like, dirty looking ale swill into a, into a dirty looking glass. Do you happen to have dragon whiskey on the rocks? They don't have That's ice offensive. back then. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a way to freeze anything. I don't know. He could be magical. Yes, a spell. That's I can freeze that. <laughs> That's highly offensive. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what, what is your name, sir, uh, Boulderman? You can call me Ignatius. I'm not gonna call okay. you then. Uh, okay, Ignatius. Uh, Are you made of yeah. igneous rocks? <laughs> How long have you been in this city town? Well, of oh, Townsville. Townsville. Who's asking? Me. I, I think he's he got me means who we are. <laughs> we're we're a group of explorers who were looking for this town because we heard rumors, and turns out we found it. But I, as you probably already know, it's not what the rumors lead up to be. But we would like to help, so that's why we're here. But first, we thought we might want to refresh ourselves after almost collapsing in your smog mist slash smoke slash whatever you would like to call it. Well, first of all, it's going to be a uh, silver piece for some drinks for all of you. Just one, Do you one silver change? piece. <laughs> no, I, no. I, I asked for all of it. <laughs> that might can be I, all of it. Can I give a gold piece and you keep the change? That's fine. Okay. I don't get much business in here anymore, to be honest, so... Fair enough. <laughs> it's kind of sad. It's one of the downsides of uh, living in a smog-filled ghost town. Well, in exchange for the change you get to keep, can you tell us more information about this smog and maybe the creature is supposedly howling at night. Well, I've, uh, I've been running this, this tavern here for uh, maybe a year or so. I uh, took over from the previous owner, Scummy. What happened? Is he okay? He moved on after the, you know, the smog. <laughs> oh, so the smog is recent. Well, yeah, it, it's... It's, it's been around for a f at least a few years, but it took a while for some people to really give up on the place now, and finally move on. Why did you move here if there was smog? Well, I, c I, I, have a, I had a job before I came here. I, uh, first of all, the smog doesn't really bother me being made of rock and such. Mm. And I like a quiet, solitary life. Mm. I was actually... Well, I was summoned here. Not here, but uh, a point uh, a few miles north of here. There's there's an ancient temple. I was summoned. Is that also in the smoke? It's uh, it's it used to be a little clearer up there, but it's it's still pretty pretty smog heavy. Everything's north. Where did he say this ancient temple? Temple was? the north. A few miles north. I was summoned to protect that temple. About a I don't know. I can't keep track. <laughs> Hundreds of years ago. Since then, it's it's fallen into disrepair, disarray. I'll diss whatever you want, any kind of diss, it's fallen into it. <laughs> you diss me, sir? And since I hadn't heard from any of the people who summoned me, I'm not even sure who it was. I sort of just wandered into town here, I got bored. Interesting. Took up residence. You're the first summoning I've heard who doesn't mindlessly follow their their summoning law until the end. After a point, you know. No, I respect that. Thank you. <laughs> what's the uh, What's the name of this temple town area? Do you remember? It doesn't. Or? It didn't really. I, I was just there to protect oh, okay. it. They didn't give me any information. Mm. Uh, I, I'm, yeah. I'm glad to see the townsfolk accepted you. Thank you. It was. Uh, there weren't many left, so <laughs> it Still, was a pretty easy way to move in. Considering this mist, I can. Us I usually see most people being very cautious if they're not 
looking like an elf or a human. As a dragonborn, I tend to see that a little often. Now, you mentioned, uh, what was his name, Scummy? Yes. Um, did he, he? You said he moved on. Did he, did he pass away, or did he just leave? Yeah, he just left. Oh, he's left? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he probably went up to one of the towns out mm. west. Did you get a good price on this place? It was basically up for grabs. Oh, good, good. good. <laughs> I don't make much money. <laughs> You're the first customers I've had in a long time, sadly. Mm. Well, hopefully we can help change that. Uh, I'd be, I'd, I'd be much obliged. Do you know anything though of the monsters or that supposedly are howling? Well, no. Okay. Now, do you know <laughs> the, uh, the old, the old woman, uh, that way of the rope? <laughs> Down the rope a little way. Down the rope a little way. You know, you, you, yeah. you walk five feet on the rope, make a ride on the rope chain, right. you know. You speak of Granny Rivers. Granny Rivers, yes. Granny we didn't Rivers. ask her name. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't care. Yes. Well, we're, we're used to, like, you know, in a video game where it just says, like, Granny Rivers. <laughs> Hi, hello there. She's a friendly old sort. Mm. She, she knows a lot about this town and its inhabitants. That sort of thing. Mm. I don't ask much, though, to be honest. I'm, uh... Keep to myself, sort of guy. I think we can see that. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, if you want to go to that temple, though, you will need my help getting inside. It's not a... You know, I was I protected it. I'm honored that you would even offer the thing before you even ask. Well, I, uh, I didn't offer anything. I was just a piece of information. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll friend, keep it in mind, because odds well, are I have a feeling we will want to visit it. But first... I think we need to check out the, uh, well, first we need to have our drinks. And I think we need to check out the, uh, town hall. No, before that, seconds. <laughs> well, I paid for first round, so what else can pay for second rounds? I got that shit. Yeah, everybody drinking? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I do not drink. Well, we guess constitution roll. Yeah, you can just drink and have a good time. I mean, unless you're drinking a lot. I don't know how much you're drinking. <laughs> a lot. Well, he's 8, eight ten. I think he, he probably... He's got a pretty good... Right, he can drink this bar and be fine. <laughs> Actually, his liver's really small. Right. <laughs> so what? besides the tavern and the town hall, are there any other buildings of note in well, this town? There's, uh... There's sort of the... the there's sort of the, uh... There's the farm. I bet you the crops are great. <laughs> Where's the farm located? <laughs> Uh, that's uh, the northeast of the town. Everything really is north. <laughs> no, Scummy lives to the west. Ah. Uh, there's a general store, and uh, there's also the sheriff's office, right in this town square. Is uh, there still a sheriff left in this town? Sheriff? I believe so, yes. That's right, there's a sheriff. You're, you're not the sheriff, right? No, sir. You only play one role in this town? Are we in a western? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You mean a head arm, uh, soldier? <laughs> Sheriff? <laughs> town cook? I ask him where the town hall is located from our current position. You can't miss it. Go out to the town square, follow the rope. There's only about three buildings out there. <laughs> <laughs> now how much rope is there? Mm. Ooh, more than three. Ooh. <laughs> three what? You need <laughs> units. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> how does this drink taste, by the way? We didn't even bring it. Like, uh, it's not matter. the worst you've ever had. I'm happy then. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, we're able to swallow is my complaint. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's gross. But you guys are used to that sort of thing. Right. I mean, you're right. adventurers. Uh, maybe, not, maybe not the high elf or the noble half one. I don't think high elves actually, like, drink. You probably don't. You do now. Well, well you know, no, you probably, you probably have, have like, some weird arcane special. Yeah, like, like you know, fancy blood wine or something. Mm. Or, all right, so you I got say, vampires uh, here? For spells. Yeah. After we finish our drinks, let's, well, let's Ignatius, move on. we thank you for your time. Yes, Ignatius. Ignatius. We'll be oh, seeing yeah. you soon, hopefully. <laughs> and thank you again for uh, all your permission. Yeah, tell your friends. Well, these are my friends, so you <laughs> sorry for... Tell anybody. <laughs> I am not picky. Do you, uh, do you have advertising? Do you want to advertise? Uh, no. Mm. You know, I don't, I don't do well with paper. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> being as I'm made of rock. The rock beats paper. <laughs> 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 yeah, he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I think we should move on, follow the rope to the uh, the town center hall, town hall. I assume Danny takes a second drink with him. I do. And by mm -hmm. rounds, he takes everyone else's rounds. Right. Yeah. Just all, all, all five drinks, you just hold it like this. Just, yes. Wait up. He's a coward. Seriously. And then he tries to drink with the gas mask on. Oh. All right, <laughs> all right uh, yeah, we approach the town your, hall. What do we see? The gas mask back on. Looks like a small building. Nothing too That's crazy not. about the outside. Uh, it's made of stone. Can we open the door? You sure can. Don't I walk in. 
wide open. As we we're uh, following the path rope to the town hall, were there people along the way? Have we seen anybody outside at all? Nobody. It's barren. It's... Nobody falls. Does this settlement need our help? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> all right, so I guess we uh, we enter the door. Well, we try to enter the door. Into the enter the walkway. You open the door, it opens into uh, a small auditorium kind of space. Uh, there's a handful of benches, a podium with a slightly raised stage, like like you Is know. Is this like a church? No, more like, like a, a like a town hall, like a meeting <laughs> space. <laughs> well, sort of like a town hall. Like, of that... well, a lot of places, the church and town hall sort of are very close. Uh, right. It's uh, just. Uh, what do we do? We see anyone inside? Uh, you do not see anyone, but there is another door back behind the podium that looks like leads to another room. Do I, on the walls, do I see any pictures or anything like that? No, there's, there's a few banners, they're faded, you can't really tell, you know, like, emblems and symbols you don't recognize. I, Presumably I walk up symbols. to the door and knock on it. Alright. Thank you. I ready my hand on my short uh, sword. <laughs> make a strength roll. So you didn't. No. You, so you didn't just ready your short sword. You ready your hand to be on your short sword. Yes. <laughs> a voice from the back called out. Who's there? No kidding. Right into the microphone. Uh, hello, we're new adventurers, and we want to ask some questions about your lovely town. Oh. You just <laughs> said that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta scratch their back, you know. All right, you hear some. Here it sounds like some, some like shuffling, shuffling of papers, some closing of drawers, some various happenings, and uh, some sh- more shuffling of footsteps to the door. You see a, a small, a small stout human man comes out wearing a little hat. He's got a little hat. Wait, what kind of hat? It's like a top hat. I ready my longbow. <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, "Oh, come in, come in, adventurers! Oh, good to see you." Man, everyone is just accepting of our really weird race group. But then he kind of looks up. <laughs> <laughs> he looks further back behind it all, and he's like, "Oh, uh, <laughs> sure." Wait, I like how he sees the dragon board. He's fine, but then when he looks back, he's, he's like, "Oh, like, <laughs> like I, whatever. <laughs> I don't have much of a choice." <laughs> The first visitors we've had in a long time. Come, come, come in, please. Come in, come in. I assume you've come to, uh, you know, help us and uh, help the town and raise some money. Well, initially we were fight- we came here because we heard rumors of this town being made of gold, and I'm sure crazy rumors like that. Oh, yes, and as we can all, I think, attest outside, it's not like that. However, we would like to help because we yeah. do believe by helping you, we will find reasons for our own. I believe that's true. So, Let me introduce myself. Oh, of course. I am sorry. I am Orion Praxis. Uh, nice these are my adventures. I'm sure they'll introduce themselves. I'm yeah. Lord Featherbottom the second. Oh, what are you a lord of? A Featherbottom. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Chickens. Royalty. Never heard of a, of, a, of a lord who looked like you before. Don't mess with my kind. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> what about the giant cow person? <laughs> After a very hearty burp, uh, Ooh. I am I am Mulgru from Mulgore. All right, it sounds like you just made that up. But <laughs> I'm fine with it. How about the scary-looking dark fella? Sir, you may call me <laughs> Sango Justin. <laughs> May I ask what your name is again? Oh, I didn't get to say it yet. I'm Mayor Plum. I'm the mayor of this city. I love how we just skip the the common elf. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I'm Varus. I'm, you know what I am. Varus? Yeah. Varus. How do you spell that? V a r i s. All right. Is that an elvish or common? It's an elvish name. V a r i s. It's a splendid name. It's a splendid name. So, obviously, I think, I mean, unless you tell us otherwise, you are the mayor. You probably know a bit more, but That's right. it seems that your problem, mm. main problems of concern that we might be able to help with might be the smog slash smoke. That's a big one. And supposedly <laughs> some strange howlings that have been appearing in the night. Yes, there are beasts that roam the streets at night. It's very unsafe to go outside. Would you like to tell us more details about said items? Well, I, uh, believe... No. believe. <laughs> I believe they're wolves. <laughs> uh, maybe other creatures out there. All, all I really know is the 
corpses that end up on the streets in the morning. So you actually have enough citizens to actually have corpses? <laughs> well, one or two. We, we have a fair number, but they tend to stay in their homes. Is there anything interesting about these corpses? Can we actually analyze them? Uh, I burn them. Okay. <laughs> it was worth a shot. <laughs> but you have to stop the spread of disease, you know. Do they show signs of disease, or...? Just in case. Okay, <laughs> so it's not like side. you find them with covered in crazy boils or something. No, bite marks, scratches, that kind so of thing. So nothing out weird bite marks, like what you would expect from a wolf attack. Pretty big wolves, but yeah. <laughs> Pretty uh, big. And yeah. the smoke, though, we've heard that this has been around for a while. Since I got here. Can I look at his face to see if he's, like, lying when he was asked about, like, why he burns them? Yeah, you can make a, a perception check. Perception? So an 11. Uh, it sounds like he, he burns them to be safe. Okay. <laughs> now, did he start burning these people before the smog? Or is, is the smog well, the smoke of the burning people? Well, it's been here since he's... The By the way, been here. I'll just... I should... Does anyone just really describe the, his office there oh, yeah. inside either? It's a it's a small like ten foot by ten foot room. There's really there's a desk, kind of a, a cushy a cushy looking chair. Uh, there's some pictures hanging on the wall of like boring like there's some there's some still life, some fruit bowls, some so landscapes. I'm everything in one burning hands cast. <laughs> what, what, you want to cast burning no. hands? <laughs> can you do it? I he could. I mean, I could. <laughs> Um, There's enough burning you, going you were saying, on. Yeah, what, was I, what was I saying? I asked you about the, uh, the mist. I got distracted by my artwork. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you like this one? I got it at a flea market. What's it called? I believe it's called Bowl of Fruit. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Did you paint any of these yourself? Oh, kind, sir? golly no. Oh. Except for that one. Uh, which one? The Bowl of Fruit. <laughs> uh, how, why would... <laughs> that you got a, a garage or yard sale. I think. Well, I was trying to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> so you bought it off of yourself. Well, when no one's buying them. <laughs> Someone's got to make can, can, we, can we go go back to the mist? Yes, the mist. Yes, it's terrible. This guy's mint is like negative three. There's really a... He's talking. The, it's pretty bad. It's... it's Right now, it's probably the, the top priority for us as a community just because you can't even go outside to do anything. With We've this, noticed this I mean, these awful. masks. Not oh. the best. The oh, you cause? must have met up with Granny Rivers. Yes. <laughs> I can. I recognize her handiwork. You're the mayor. You must know what the cause of the mist is. Oh, I'm afraid it's not that simple being where, the mayor. Where is the mist worst? The worst. Where's the smog thickest? Really, really all throughout town. <laughs> now, we've heard of this temple to the north. Do you know anything about that? Uh, I don't know anything about a temple to the north, no. Do you, uh, are you friendly with the, the, the local boulder barkeep? Oh, that guy. I don't really know. Oh. <laughs> he's a little, he's a little off-putting for my days. But that, that's just me. I have no judgment. If you like him, that's whatever. That's your stuff. Racist. <laughs> uh, really, my chief concern, uh, aside from the smog, of course, is raising funds to restore our city to its former glories. And any donations you can make or uh, money you could raise outside, that would really be a Well, problem. we did just spend well, some money at your local pub. We uh, will, that economy. will be something to work on, but I do feel any money we give you still won't be helpful unless we really make it so people can actually breathe in your town. Well, <laughs> sure, I mean, sure. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, money, you're not getting smog, any whatever. Mayor Plum, who is the wealthiest in your in your town? Oh, probably no one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just bought stuff at the bar, probably the bar. I hope your job wasn't about <laughs> finding the wealthiest person. Uh, so, yeah. you're a weird bunch of so people. I think we should head we should, out. We should leave. We should leave. This guy's a little sketchy. Sure. I, th I thank you for your hospitality, but we sh we shall be on our way. Where are you guys staying? You gonna spend the night? Spend the week? Give me your money. Move in? Is there an inn in town? I think they have a room over at uh, Scummies. Mm. Scummies. And that, of course, there's a bunch of the vacant bar? homes yeah. in the housing district. Well, okay. I think we should just pick a vacant home. Let's pick some homes. Uh, you know. Let's be squatters. We can just stay at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to pay. <laughs> All right, so uh, we 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 say goodbye and we leave the. Uh, bye. Uh, bye. No, I'd stay. Oh. <laughs> he loves your Come back any time. Is any of this for sale? I say we head back to the 
Well, we still have. There's still the, there's the general farm. store. Oh, there's the a farm. general store. Is yeah. there anything else in the town hall besides that office? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. I'll never give you a yes or a no. I'm gonna do. Uh, would that be investigation check? Yeah. As we leave. Oh god, I didn't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, a mighty eleven. You know, there's not, there's nothing there. You just, just you can see those two rooms basically that right. you've been in. Um, I say we head to the farm first. I think the I, I would go farm. to either the sheriff's or the general store because it's probably closer. Well, the that sheriff's? is true. Uh, let's go to the sheriff's. They're in the town square. The farmer, farm is off. All right, so we grab another rope and we feel <laughs> our way to Do the we, sheriff's. What office. time is it now? Would you say? I mean, like midday. Sun's still up. Yeah. All right, so we. Do we see a sign at the general's? Oh, wait, sheriff first? Yeah, sheriff. sheriff. The sheriff's office. Go to the sheriff's office. You go inside. Um, is the door open and unlocked? Gone. The door is open and unlocked. This is a trusting community. Well, who's gonna, see, who's, so, who's yeah. here even? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this is a, it's Enough a, for people to die. <laughs> it's a very small little, little space. Uh, there's, there's a desk and a bench up against one corner. And it looks like a single jail cell. Is yeah. there anyone in the jail cell? There is. There is a, a, a human figure. This town is definitely smaller than I thought it would be. Slumped over, uh, appears to be either asleep or unconscious. But you don't see the sheriff. What does he look like? He's wearing these raggedy clothes. He's, looks human? like otherwise average. Yeah, human, black hair, maybe like six feet. I, got, I have a feeling that's the sheriff. I don't know why, but... Hello? Mm. <laughs> is that like him, or is, is that coming from the person that's... Yeah, the, there's no other doors, so like, if there was a sheriff or anybody else here, you'd I, see I him. knock him against the bars. Clang, clang, clang. He's just like... <laughs> Wake up in a very thundering cow voice. <laughs> what is the... That, was that the thundering cow voice? Mm -hmm. It just moo! <laughs> He doesn't, doesn't respond. Um, you said there's a desk? Yeah. I searched the desk. It's empty. <laughs> no Are papers there... or anything? <sighs> Nothing. Is there anything on the wall, like a wanted or anything? No, it's pretty, it doesn't look like a lot of activity. Is, for us to I go to him and ask him, Wait, is the jail, jail open? cell open? Actually, is the jail door open to be in with? Uh, well, you want to try to open it? Sure. It's like simple, I'm not locked, I'm just seeing if it opens. It opens. Okay. <laughs> now continue with your thing. Why are you in this jail? I, I ask him, why are you in this jail cell? He, he rolls over and looks up at you and just like, Aah. You said <laughs> he he's human, though. <laughs> he was probably drunk. I think someone's had too much of our old uh, Rocky's drinks here. Oh, Sorry. but he never had any customers recently. That he knows of. That's very true. I mean, we were about to just take some liquor on our own if we didn't realize that Boulder was living. True. Uh, I pick him up and eagle him. Eagle! I, I pick him up with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> by the by the shirt. Just... Um, I feel like why why don't Strength you test? maybe roll an intimidation? I'm a giant cow. I shouldn't need to. You also are intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> he actually throws him across the room. Oops. Eight. That's with your bonus? I don't have a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Uh, I mean, he, he spits in your face. <laughs> does, right. it, does the I, guy look drunk? Or like, does he? He looks, he looks certainly like he's not in the right, his right state of mind. I take out my short sword, ready it at his throat, pick him up and press him against the wall and tell him we're here on good terms, but do not try us. <laughs> Very friendly. Oh, you make an intimidation roll. You're better at that. It's a nine, ten, thirteen. <laughs> it's like a, a eight, eight. Eight. Uh, All right. Well, he's he's a little more receptive to you, but he's also kind of you know he's offended by your your form of greeting. <laughs> you're just like, wow. What do you want? Is it Wario? Wow. <laughs> 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 We're Are you the sheriff? <laughs> oh, we were told this is the sheriff's building. 
This is the jail cell. Are you not the sheriff? I am not the sheriff. <laughs> Who are you? The name is Jarvis. Of course it is. <laughs> you he know where we can find him. <laughs> I drop him to the ground. I walk away. My I friends, pick, we should. I we pick him up. Don't need to be here. Yeah, let's 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 leave. I believe. Let's, let's put him. Let's. Oh, cool. I thought that was what he was on. No, he's just on the floor. Oh. Right. Well, I, I I pick him up nicely, brush him off. I said, "Do you know where we can find the sheriff?" Not that I know that. Because you're in the jail cell next to the sheriff's desks. Good point. <laughs> no. Maybe he's at home. I don't know. All right, well, we're going to close the door, which apparently was unlocked anyway, so you do yeah. your thing, we'll do ours. <laughs> Goodbye, Jarvis, was it? Whatever. All right, so did we uh, we check right. the entire place, the entire the, jail? The jail cell. Yeah, the yes, it's very small. A small room. Small building? Yeah. Okay, okay. so... Uh, Use your, your heat hands to just melt the lock so it can't be opened again. So what's the next building? It's the, uh, the general, general store? store. I say we, we travel onward to the general store and see what we could find there. Then yes, I don't think story. this man will have much information no, for us at this he's going point to, time. Uh, this, this man's going to rot here. Uh, no, he'll get out. And and don't forget, uh, he, he's already covered in puke. Servo? Uh, Sengo. Sengo. Is My god. Covered in, well, you're covered in puke. I he didn't can't. puke on him. He did. He did. He did. Oh, he did? Yeah, I have right. puke on me. He spit on me. <laughs> <laughs> he spit on me. <laughs> I would like to go to the general store, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Rivers got cleaning supplies. <laughs> oh, that's right. All right. So, yeah. Go into the general store. Let's go to the general store as we as we keep a few feet away from, from Mr. Puke I'm over here. Who's uh, spit, not puke. No, he got puked on. I got spit on. We well, got both puke. ends of the sword, my friends. <laughs> I got to tell you, that was an interesting trip. Mm. I'd say we never go back there. Thank yes. the god, goddess Lolf, that there was no urine involved. Maybe, maybe. We, we, we shouldn't have left the bar. What, what's that liquid on your shoes? Oh, that's my urine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we find? All right, so we, we entered. The, You're we in the general store. Uh, it's it's not much bigger than the uh, sheriff's is it general? In office was. Uh, however, there is uh, a kindly uh, looking woman, a human woman, uh, behind a counter with some shelves with you know, not much on them. She's, she's, she sees you as you come in, looks kind of surprised. I go up to her and I ask her kindly if there is a, a, a possibility of me exchanging clothes and some money for a nude pair of clothes. Oh, what happened to you, child? Fortunately, we encountered Jarvis in the sheriff's office. Jarvis? That rapscallion. <laughs> wow. My lady, what is your name? I'm Maple. Maple. I uh, operate this here general store. What a lovely the name, Maple. says her name is Maple. He made it up. What book are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine John in the monster manual. Maple. <laughs> this is my story. You want a fresh pair of clothes? Tell you what. I, I got an extra pair. I'll give it to you on the house. Thank you. That is very kind of you. Yes, well. <laughs> Do you, we're we're here, if you haven't noticed, we're sort of outsiders. If, you could not tell? Yes, I don't see many of your kind around here. <laughs> the weirdest thing we have is Ignatius. Yes, I would assume He's not. It's pretty weird, though. I'm, that's one of the reasons why I'm out here. But uh, we came to this city and realized it has some problems, and we'd like to help. That's for sure. Do you know anything about this mist or said beasts that wander around at night? Well, the beasts, uh, you know, I, I in, in my spare time, I, uh, I like to... I like to look around, you know, I, I take hikes in nature. I, Good for you! Yeah, I, well, I try to stay active. Did you say you have proficiency in it? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Uh, I, I, I don't know where these beasts come from exactly, but if, if, I, had to, if I had to guess, you know, there's a great, there's a great deal of, of wilderness to the south of the town, Ooh, the southwest. So and that's, it's a dangerous place. I don't go that far when I, in my travels. Does the mist extend all to the southern wilderness? No, I think that's, it, it clears up by the time you get down there. And which way did we come to, to the came town? from the south. Okay. Anybody want to buy some rations? Yes, oh, please, yes. please. <laughs> uh, well, what do you have for sale? Not a whole lot. Uh, got some rations. 
Got some string. You guys need some uh, some climbing gear. Some climbing gear. Some pitons. Piton. Can I interest any of you with some pitons? Are there any large uh, like mountains, or uh, do you know of the ancient temple? To the north. To the north. Oh, Thank you. You must mean those ruins up 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 north. Yes. yes. I've seen it. I've seen I've seen the ruins. There's a. It's a large, decrepit-looking place, but there's a there's a, a door outside that's sealed, as if by magic. I I've never been able to get inside. I think uh, I think we should buy some climbing gear if we don't have any. If, if we have to get up to these rooms. Great rooms. idea. Good idea. How much How much are your climbing gear? Is your climbing gear? How much you got? Mm. <laughs> One mm. gold. All right, I can I can right. I can get you all some climbing gear all for right. a gold. Wait for all of us or for yeah? Oh. All right, my lady, you are like too kind. Thing. Yeah. I think a gold one gold piece is like a good amount, like a decent amount. We really should have gotten change at the last tavern. Yeah. <laughs> you have a change machine? <laughs> What's a machine? Oh, okay. All right, so we all get climbing gear if you don't have it, correct? I was wondering if you happen to have any healing potions. I do have half of a healing potion, but it's pretty old. How much? I'll give it to you for ten silver pieces. How much is a so how much silver gold. is a gold again? Is it ten? I, I don't know. Does Five anyone know the conversion pieces. rates? <laughs> it's been so long since I've had custom. I, I, I believe the rate has changed recently since when the the great kingdom decides to secede from the uh, the the EU kingdom. <laughs> Wait, so what's EP? It'll, you don't worry Electron. about it. You'll never get them. <laughs> you will never, you will never get them. You will never get this, Borat. It's like worth like two gold mm -hmm. or something. So <laughs> how do you get your wares, out of curiosity? Well, they used to come in, you know, we, we get them imported from cities outside, but lately uh, people don't really want to come here and no one lives here, so I haven't ah, been ordering so them. clearing the mist would help you with your store. Certainly, if you think you could clear the mist, I'd... My friend, we should not make promises we may not be able to keep. <laughs> I didn't keep make a promise, I said, so if, I said, if we clear the mist. Fair enough, my friend. Fair Don't enough. worry, yes, I know. Well, but we should totally clear this mist. Yes. Do you have, or do you know of anybody who's got any information on the origin of this mist? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this town. <laughs> well, do you know anyone of significance we could talk to in this town, in general? Like, maybe the oldest living, current living town who's been here the longest? Probably Granny Rivers. All right. She's pretty she's darn old. Nothing. Well, thank you very much for your help. Well, I think we should uh, check out the f the farm. Sure. We don our gas masks, and we walk towards the farm. All right, you follow the rope. You see uh, what looks like probably was a farm, but there's nothing growing there. Uh, you don't see any livestock. There's there's a big old barn. So wait, I do. I'm doing a nature check, like on the plant where the plants grow and shit. To try to okay to, to see what the condition is. If it's the fog affecting them or it's like a Silent Hill game. <laughs> I'm I have a feeling that that might play into this. Look up John I got a twenty. He natural. rolled a crit. Dot com. You're <laughs> thanks. You're positive that uh, the the. Nothing could grow here because of the smog. It's affecting the... My mother has taught me well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are there any There's also houses? There's also like a, a hut, like looks like a residence next to the barn. We knock on that question? door? Are there any strange dog houses nearby with no dogs? <laughs> <laughs> no. There are no dog houses with no dogs. Oh. Is there a dog without a dog house? Are there any <laughs> dog houses with dogs? <laughs> Where are the cats at? Would you, could you, on a boat? <laughs> Is there right. one dog, two dog? All right, dog or a blue dog? So we knock on the door of the of the farmhouse? That's what you said it was, right? Who's knocking? Who's up there? He Apparently, is. Yeah. Apparently I am. All right. Uh, it you, should be you, though. You're the Fine, I'll knock on the door. We do do you do that. We, we, we the the They're not going to, like, shoot you when you open the door. <laughs> you hear, uh, it sounds like a female voice from inside. Who's that? I uh, close the door and leave. You didn't even open it, you nod. <laughs> the door slightly, every door opens. He open. pulls the door off <laughs> it. <laughs> this door is locked. This door is locked, okay. Um, she said, who is there? Yeah. 
It's uh, it's, it's orange. <laughs> Lord Featherbottom. <laughs> it's Lord Featherbottom and my my adventurer friends. Uh, may we come in? Go away. See you later, ma'am. <laughs> we are trying to find out more about the beasts and the fog that seems to be plaguing your town. Can you tell us anything? No. How about the temple to the north? No! We mean you no harm. We are just in search of information. We are friendly friends. <laughs> nice. You want some gold? Make a persuasion check? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Yes. We some friendly friends. We do a TV show. 15, 16, That's pretty good. 19. All right, she doesn't open the door, but she's like, I'm listening. What do you want? We would like to know uh, about this town and the fog and possibly the uh, the ruins north of here. It sucks. It sucks, and they suck. How long have you lived here, may I ask? Too long. Ask her name. What is your name? My name's Mrs. Farmer. <laughs> now I know it doesn't say that. <laughs> uh, the farmers are a noble people. I uh, my understanding is that they're good people. Not Who told of, you that? Not of noble descent, but I've, I've heard good things. We're just common folk like everyone else, except we can't make no gosh dang money. Are you farming meth? <laughs> <laughs> Methods? Well, um... Methodology? Yes. We'll come back to talk to you. Thank you very much for your information. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Is anyone in this city actually helpful? Where will our heroes find shelter? And what lies in the ruins to the north? Find out next time. This concludes our episode of Myths of Malocus, part of Roll for Crit's series of role-playing adventure podcasts. This campaign is based in Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. Players and performers were Neil Sani as Sango Duskrin, Will Keeler as Orion Praxius, Garrett Dickin as Varus Starfall, Ivan Hahn as Lord Featherbottom II, and Danny Hand as Mulgrew, with artwork by Neil Sani. I'm your dungeon master, Jonathan Estes. Myths of Malocus is brought to you in part by Battle Bards Audio Systems. Find us on Twitter, at roll for crit and YouTube, youtube.com slash roll for critcast For more great content like this, and to purchase D&D and other role-playing games, please visit www.rollforcrit.com.